Hello everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating how we can add mount points to a Windows Server. So I will uh, demonstrate the most basic manner in which we can do that. So I have a newly installed Windows Server and I will go to the disk management dot msc and I will just see the disk option. So as, as I can see that uh, I have currently a 30 GB uh, C drive and I have 90 GB which is unallo unallocated. So what I am going to do is that I am going to create mount points out of this. So I won't do it from here. I will go to the file and storage options and I will go to the disks. So this is my C drive and I have 89 GB unallocated. So the very first thing that I will be doing is I will create a couple of drives which will be minimum in size and there I will be going ahead and creating mount points. So if I see my disk structure I just have a C drive and I don't have anything else on this. So I will create a new volume. click next I'll select this disk and then click next and I'll just give 2 GB to this and assign a drive letter E and uh, maybe name it SQL next and I'll create this refresh this and I can now see this e drive here 2 GB in size I'll create one more drive select the disk and again I'll take 2 GB name it F the drive letter uh, click next and I'll name it uh, temp TV click next and create this So now if I go to the disk structure, I can see that I have an E drive and an F drive. Now inside the E drive, what I will do is that I will create a few folder like MS SQL. One is data. One is log. And one is backup. And I will go to the tempdb and I'll put here temp and one more temp log so now I'm going to start creating the mount points so I'll click on a new volume click next select the disk click next I'll take say 20 GB click next and I'll go to the second option the following folder click on browse I'll go to the SQL and select the MS SQL, select the folder, click next and give that same name corresponding to the folder name that is MS SQL, click next and click on create. Now I'll go ahead and uh, repeat the exercise for all the folders that I had created. So I'll select 10 GB, click on the following folder option, click on browse, navigate to my e drive, select data, select the folder, click next, name it as data, click next. Uh, now I'll do it for the log drive now for the backup I'll 
take uh, maybe again another 10 GB. Select the folder, click next, name it as uh, backup, click next and create. So now if I go back to my folder structure and go to the E drive, so now I can see all the mount points are created. So here I have my uh, four mount points and I'll do the same thing for the temp and temp log. Select NGB, browse it, select the temp, click next, put the volume level, click next and then create. And I have the last folder left which is the temp log, uh, for this I will take 2 GB. name it temp log so I'm done with creation of the mount points so now I created uh, six mount points like this so the basic benefit of uh, adding mount point is uh, no dependency on the drive later so and also giving better control especially uh, while installing <coughs> database software like SQL Server. So in the next video I will be installing SQL Server on this created mount points. <coughs>